Hello all. In this video, I'll show you how to disable a managed environment in Power Platform. Now, if you don't know what a managed environment is, uh, I have authored a few videos with regards to the topic Power Platform Managed Environment, so you can have a look into that. So what is a managed environment? Managed environment is basically a suite of capabilities for Power Platform admin to manage environments at scale with less effort and meaningful insights. So there are various features which comes as a part of managed environment. You can have a look into the video which I have authored. So I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. So I've navigated to the URL admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. And what you see over here is like new interface. So I have a list of environments, as you see over here. So there are like a couple of environments. Uh, Girish Prod, Girish UAD, Girish Dev. These are type of developer environment. And as you see over here in this column, it is all managed. Now, how do we turn on a managed environment? So the best thing, what you can do, you can click on this three ellipses and then you can go ahead and click on enable managed environments. So what happens if an environment is not managed, you can enable the managed environment. But what if we want to, uh, disable a managed environment so as you see over here girish prod is a managed environment now if i want to disable over here if i go and click on edit managed environment i don't see an option to basically disable a managed environment so as you see over here there's no direct way for you to disable the managed environment so how do we go ahead and disable it so that's the question now, in order to do that, let's make use of PowerShell. So I have already installed PowerShell within my system. So uh, if I navigate to this Windows PowerShell application and run as an administrator, uh, then I will be able to open the PowerShell prompt, so which I've already opened ahead of time. Now, make sure there are a couple of modules which you need to install if you're using PowerShell for the first time. Make sure that you run this command install dash module dash name microsoft.powerapps.administration.powershell now this is a powershell uh, module which has supporting commands now once you do and once you set up your powershell uh, for power apps then you can just type in this command add dash power apps account now what it does it will authenticate you uh, with a credential for your specific tenant now i have a couple of tenants so i have picked up this tenant 6yf vhd and once i get itself authenticated so now i'm really ready to go with the command now there are some configuration parameter which we may need to set so i'll just walk you through that so first is we need to set a variable so there is a variable so if you just press dollar so that's how you represent variable in powershell so there is a variable called as updated governance configuration so you just type updated and if i just press tab then it will automatically fill up that variable so updated governance configuration now we just need to set this variable so i'll just say updated governance configuration is equal to and in an array ps custom object so ps custom object is an array and I'll just put an at the rate in curly braces protection level protection level equal to in double quotes basic and you close this curly braces okay so the goal is basically what we are going to achieve is we will go into this uh, Girish prod environment. Okay. So Girish prod environment, the goal is to make it from managed yes to managed no. Okay. So we need to make this no. Now, in order to do that, we need to just go into the environment and get the environment ID. So this is the environment ID for a, this environment. Okay. So coming back to PowerShell. So what we have done, we have basically created a variable uh, and we are setting up that value okay so what we have done we have set updated governance configuration variable with protection level as basic so make sure that after at the rate there's no space so once you have set this just press enter and this particular variable will be set
and if you want to verify what does the variable name uh, is set to so you can just type in the variable name dollar updated governance configuration and you will see the protection level as basic now what we need to do we need to pass this variable name with to the command so for that i have opened a notepad and here i'm gonna draft that command so the command is simple we just need to type in set dash admin power app environment governance configuration so the command is set admin power app environment governance configuration and we need to pass a couple of uh, parameter so one is environment name and then is the variable which we have set so updated governance configuration and the variable name is dollar updated governance configuration so what is the environment name so the environment name you need to navigate to the power platform admin center and get this environment id so don't pick the environment name as such but uh, the parameter accepts environment id so i'll just copy this and i will paste it in the notepad so this is the command okay so i'll just remove the break line and this is the command so i'll just copy this and now i'm going to powershell and paste this command so the command is set admin power app environment governance configuration hyphen environment name this is environment id hyphen updated governance configuration this is a governance configuration which we have set protection level as basic so currently as you see over here the environment is a managed environment now if i go into the powershell and if i run this command then it will say 202 accepted so once this uh, result comes into your screen then that means that environment has been converted from a managed environment to non-managed environment so if i just press in enter i refresh the screen then you should see the environment has been changed from managed environment to unmanaged environment so as you see over here now it is set managed environment to no right so this is how you basically convert a managed environment to a no manage environment now if you go into the powershell uh, now what if you run this command again now it is not a manage environment then if i run this command again then you will see that you will get an error it's code 400 bad request uh, because this environment is already uh, a managed uh, not managed environment so you are again running this command to make it not a managed environment and you are going to get this error so this is how you basically uh, convert an environment from uh, managed environment uh, to uh, disable basically you're disabling the managed environment functionality uh, and you can uh, you can see the history uh, of the environment so if you go here and click on full history then you will be able to see the list of changes what has happened so as you see over here it, this environment was managed environment you have disabled managed environment and you will see all the history over here so so i have just played around with this environment so as you see over here this environment is managed i made it uh, unmanaged and so on and so forth so that's it folks this is how you basically uh, take an environment uh, and then make it uh, disable basically the environment from a managed environment to unmanaged environment thanks for watching